Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and uh, well this is I guess sort of another one of those plug side chats but really what this is is I'm hoping to save some of you some money uh, you know lessons learned things that I've learned over the years with my Bull TV and maybe something in this case that I would have done differently. When I first got my Bull TV, I was coming off of what, like five, almost six years of ownership with the Chevy Volt, which is a plug-in hybrid. And for the Chevy Volt, I had almost exclusively been charging at 120 volts when I was at home. Uh, you just plug into a regular wall outlet. At one point in time, I was actually hanging my EVSC out of the uh, balcony into my carport. Now it was literally plugged into the same socket as my TV. Uh, so with the Volt, it's super easy though. You can be charging at 120 volts and you know, you'll add 40 miles in a night. So it's not really a big deal. But when I first made uh, my regular 500 mile trip up here to Northern California uh, back in early 2017, uh, you know, I got up here and all I had was 120 volt and it literally took basic, basically the whole weekend to charge my car back from near empty to full before I made the trip back. And in fact, I didn't even fully charge over the course of the weekend. So, uh, you know, that's one of those issues with a pure battery electric vehicle and charging on 120 volts. It just doesn't add enough range if you're a long distance driver. So, you know, if you're adding 40 miles a night, well, it's going to take a few days to get up to 200, 250 miles of range. And so I went ahead and I bought a 240 volt EVSC, a juice box. I featured it on my channel. It's pretty expensive and uh, that's in addition to a couple hundred dollars that I paid someone, uh, a local ed electrician, to install a NEMA 1450 uh, socket. Now I did that because I wanted the flexibility of having that uh, 40 amp socket and hey it's great I can charge at the full 7 to 8 kilowatts on my Chevy Bolt EV like I'm doing right now. But what if you don't want to spend a few hundred extra dollars and you already have a dryer socket, you already have a 240 volt socket? Well, there might be a much cheaper option for you and I want to talk about that today. So basically just using your stock EVSC, I want to show you how you can maybe spend $40, $50 and you won't get the full benefit of a full 240 volt 32 amp EVSC like I have. Uh, but it's a lot better than taking two and a half to three days to fill your car. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, so early on, you know, some people figured out that uh, the Bolt EV's uh, EVSC, the stock one, the UL listed one that comes with the car, uh, it turns out that this is actually wired internally, not just for 120 volt, but also 240 volt. Now, it's only rated at 12 amps maximum. So you're not going to be able to do, like I said, the full seven to eight kilowatts that the Bolt EV can do. But in theory, if you feed 220 or 240 volts into this EVSC, you'll charge it about double the rate uh, that it will charge at 120 volt. So I just happened to at you know, our, our little uh, shed out here. I happen to have 120 volt, I happen to have 240 volt uh, with a NEMA 1450 socket. So the question though is, with the stock EVSC uh, that comes with, you know, your car from factory, uh, how do you get 240 volts to it? Because you don't really want to modify uh, this 120 volt uh, you know, NEMA head at the end, but you want to be able to plug it into 240 volt. So what you can do is actually pretty simple. Uh, I just went ahead and I bought a 240 volt uh, NEMA 1450 adapter and it's got this, uh, I guess it's the N620R head at, at the back. And what they have is an adapter that lets you go from here uh, to the standard 120 volt format. So basically it just plugs in here. Now the, the thing that you have to be cautious about though is if you plug this in, this can only be plugged into a 240 volt device. Because if you plug it into a 120 volt device, well, uh, there you know bad things can happen. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now, like I said, I'm charging at seven to eight kilowatts. 
I'm going to test what would happen if instead of you know charging at the seven to eight kilowatts I can get off the 32 amp EVSE installed in the shed, uh, the juice box installed in the shed, what happens if I plug in a at 120 volt and what happens when I plug in at uh, uh, this at 240 volts with the very the very same EVSC that I'm charging at 120 volts. So let's see what happens. All right, so I just plugged in the uh, stock EVSC, sort of the emergency backup, into 120 volt. It, it lit up. It's it's green. It's charging, but it's only charging at one kilowatt, and that kind of aligns with my experience. It's a little bit more than that, uh, I believe, but uh, you're still looking at about 60 hours to, uh, to charge to full uh, with 120, uh, 120 volt. Now, there is one thing to note though, even on the stock 120 volt EVSC, you need to make sure to switch it from eight amps to 12 amps, which I just did. And now you'll notice that it's actually charging at two kilowatts, still though, that's going to be a very long time. Uh, I believe it actually breaks down to about 50 to 54 hours or something like that to charge from empty to full, uh, doing 120 volt at 12 amps. Now let's hook up to 240 volt through the stock EVSC and see what happens. So there you have it. Now we're charging at a full three kilowatts, which I mean, again, this is only about half of the Bolt EVs are really actually a little bit less than half of the Bolt EVs uh, full uh, level two AC charging speed uh, because you're, you're still limited to only 12 amps, but it's 240 volts at 12 amps. So it is, you know, a lot closer to three kilowatts than you would get, uh, you know, than, you know, the rounding up to two kilowatts that you're getting when you're at 12 amps and uh, and 120 volts. So, uh, it, yeah, it's basically double the speed. And so if it was going to take you 50 hours basically before to charge from empty to full, now with this setup, 240 volts through the stock EVSC, you're going to be able to charge at uh, charge up in basically a day. And this is a really good sort of interim solution for Bolt EV owners like who don't want to have to uh, pay for a more, more expensive, heavier duty EVSC, uh, especially if you're only maybe driving 50 to 60 miles a day, maybe even 70 to 80 miles a day, this will more than meet your needs, right? If you're charging at a full three kilowatts, that's the equivalent of about uh, 12 miles per hour that you're adding so at 10 hour night you know you're you're adding over 100 miles of range so uh, I think this is a really good option uh, it's a really good way of sort of mitigating cost and it's something uh, that you'll be able to take with you on trips too so if you don't want to pack a whole nother EVSE you don't want to have to pack a whole lot of other things and say you're gonna stay at a campsite for a night uh, you know or a, a day and a night you want to be able to leave with a, a full battery charge uh, and this will allow you to do that even with the stock EVSC that comes with the Chevy Bolt EV. Now, I don't want to overreach. There are other EVSCs that you can get with other electric vehicles that might or might not support both 120 volt and 240 volts, so use caution. Uh, some of the early volt EVSCs wouldn't do this either. So you have to be aware of which model you have. Uh, and so so do your research, do your due diligence. But you know, I spent $40 for an adapter cord and an adapter that's allowing me to run the stock EVSC off of an existing 240 volt uh, socket. Uh, so like I said, this is a, this is a great option. Uh, I just wanted to sort of present it to you without being too prescriptive about the different things that you, you want to buy because some places were offering, um, you know, off the shelf uh, versions of this and the big thing to be cautious with though and the reason I like this adapter it really helps you avoid uh, using this with a device that doesn't support 240 volts so it's just a basically a, a plug that you can keep with your EVSE anyway I hope this was helpful I hope this was an informative uh, video I hope it's something that you know basically you can use to save money save time uh, and maybe avoid the cost of an expensive EVSE if it's not 
what you want. Uh, I think this is maybe something that GM needs to consider as well because there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of room for them to improve their EVSC, especially with their Cadillac lineup coming, where the the Lyric is going to be charging at 20 kilowatts. They need to have an EVSC that ships with the car that's able to support. Uh, at least 30 to 40 amps unlike this one that can only support 12 so and then of course having quick disconnect plugs so you don't have to do this workaround uh, that's something that I think GM should consider and pretty much any um, automaker needs to consider for their stock EVSE that comes with the car uh, you should have the option to avoid the additional expense of having to uninstall a dedicated charger, you know, if you don't want to. So, uh, anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, this was informative. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.